our roads are more dangerous than ever before. And some have taken it upon themselves to protect those streets. There's a man in Ontario, Canada who is protecting his roads in an unusual way. And there is a man in Seattle, Washington doing the same. These shocking videos are all part of an unprecedented look at the number one killer of American teenagers, car crashes. First off, we have a clip from Billy Buzzcut from London, Ontario, Canada. Now this fisherman is protecting his roads the God-given way with a fish. My man decides to use cartoon violence to protect his roads, launching the fish at never before seen speeds. This is peak hey, this fitness. Camera. This is m what women want, and what men want to be. He has the form of a professional MLB pitcher while he launches the la large mouthed bass towards oncoming traffic. Now some would say this man's a danger to society. He's protecting his roads with violence. But what about a man that protects his roads without violence? What well, if we turn to Seattle, Washington with the salty Seattle driver who claims he himself is a danger to society? Let's scroll down here. I got this one video picked out specifically. He says here his crimes are too quick, honks, sarcastic applause, pointing out the sign and laughing. As you can see, there's a no parking sign here. I'm not the one calling you names. And he is not the one calling her names. Let's rewind a little bit, give a little bit more context. So our salty Seattle driver is okay. doing just that. My turn signal. He's driving, <laughs> using his turn signal, like a proper driver should. Then he comes up on this road, sees this woman, is still parked there. Now we can take a look at the time there. It's 17.57, I'm sorry, 17.59.33. 57.33, I was correct. And before that, at 17.45, she was still there. So she was there for a significant period of time, just parked in one spot which is not allowed. So, he does what any driver should while he's trying to protect his streets. Harass the woman and sit behind her. Yep, still harassing her, still sitting behind her. He backs up, pulls up, backs up, pulls up. All while trying to be the good Samaritan he is. Let's pull up another clip from our Seattle-born friend. This is one of his first videos. I believe it is this one. Big tax penalties for corporations that don't pay. Yep. So here we go. In Similar here. He drives up on a car that is blocking traffic. This uh, bus here, or maybe a tram, because it's connected up at the top. I'm not from Seattle, so I don't know if this is normal. I've never seen that before where I live. I'm assuming it's a bus connected via tram lines or something. Maybe it gives it power. Who knows? But this car is obviously Again, idling where it should not be. West Virginia, but now the driver comes across the street, seats in the Senate to make him not enters his car, I mean, what and what do we hear from also, our salty Bernie Seattle driver friend? With big tax Nothing. For corporations that don't pay at least he just goes on with his day. So he's, he's Belichicking Drives right on by. Leaves the man be. Now... Some would say that is because our salty S Seattle driver friend here is a danger to society and loves to harass m women. But, fuck racism. Sexism is garbage. None of that will be tolerated here. So, it's not that. Because our man lives by his virtues. He harasses women on the streets, not because he's a sexist. But because Seattle has certain reputation for bad drivers the geography street layout rapid population influx outdated infrastructure pure 
impotence, obliviousness of the average American driver, swirled all together to create a microclimate of tarmac insanity. As nothing about sexism is just about that woman's action, which was the same action that that man took. So, I don't know. Maybe it's due to him not having a fish on him. Maybe if he had a fish, it would have went differently. So to all you angry drivers out there, grab a fish. Launch it into oncoming traffic. Dude, the guy threw a fish, man. Prove the bad drivers wrong. Give them consequences for their actions. Some may say, wow, you are encouraging violence. I would respond to that. With I'm, I'm joking. Don't throw fish into oncoming traffic. It's a joke. I, I don't think the salty Seattle driver is sexist. That was also just a weird observation. I think that he's just a guy that drives around a lot. And he happens to record things. But I just really liked the fish video. thought that was very funny. It's a very funny video. Let's laugh at the fish video. Such a good fucking clip. And with that, I bid you adieu.